I love the days on board, alone, actually, because people will say, well, are you out there alone? And I'm actually not. Those are the days where I'm, I'm with the river most. Uh, I have time to think, I have time to put this um, huge living organism in some kind of perspective. You know, when people are bored, you get distracted and you get tied up in talk. And, um, but I love being alone. And so I, I think that the, the, the huge upsurge in kayakers are people who are getting that same thing. They go out, they're close to the water, quiet, and um, they're communing with the river. And I think that's, from my perspective, that's a wonderful thing if you can do it. What we all miss, including me, uh, the fishermen get it to some extent, but what we all miss is a window on the life in the river. If the water were clear and we could go out in a glass bottom boat, it would be a different story. We'd see sturgeon, we'd see blue crab, we'd see striped bass, we'd see all those fish. It would be a cinch to build a bigger constituency for the river, for a living river. So that's the part we all have to struggle with. And so, um, you know, to what extent people can, if they can go, if they can join a herring spotting, a herring counting group, if they can join an eel census group, if they can uh, go see these educational beach scenes where DEC staff and others, you know, do a beach scene and you get to look at all the little creatures and then release them. And the, the magic and the mystery of the, this giant machine of life is the part that's the most hidden. The view is easy, but uh, the life under the water, which is the real river, that's the river, um, is hardest to see and that's true for me as well.